Hey guys, I uh, just finished this build. It's my very, very, very first build. And uh, basically just uh, followed along with a couple of plans that I see uh, some of the guys post on uh, Overclockers and Corsair and other uh, places. Um, I think I tried to stay with uh, more functionality than looks, but I did kind of probably go crazy on some of the looks. I don't know. Like, uh, I bought some um, sleeve cabling and got some of my cabling sleeve, but other parts of it is not sleeve because um, I really haven't figured out yet if they if I can get sleeved for uh, these particular connectors, but I think it turned out all right. This is the uh, 800D case, and I am uh, using a XPS or XSPC dual reservoir with uh, two 355 pumps. That's just uh, distilled water, and I've got um, silver coils on both uh, reservoirs. Left reservoir is the uh, loop for the GPU. It uh, cleared up pretty quick. Don't have a lot of bubbles in it or any bubbles in it. And this is the largest loop. It's still got a lot of bubbles in it, but I got most of the big ones out. And I've just been idling it here for about uh, maybe two hours tonight. And the uh, room temperature is about 84 degrees. It's pretty warm. I got a window open, and it's a uh, little humidity, in here, little humid in here too. Uh, I got a Lamtron FC5 controller. I'm only using two channels. Uh, each channel is uh, a loop, and the temperature is being read with a bits power temperature probe on the inlets of the uh, reservoir coming back from each loop. Uh, I got three NB Black Silent Pro PL2 fans that run at uh, 1400 RPM on the top, which is a uh, uh, GTX 360 Black Ice, and I got a uh, GPS or a G GTX uh, 240 at the bottom. I did the lower radiator mod that you see so so often on the, on these forums. Sorry for the light there; it's kind of hard to see. But um, the motherboard is a uh, ASUS P six X fifty eight D Premium. I've got uh, water blocks all over it: MOSFET, Northbridge, Southbridge, and. Um, I also got a full cover on the uh, GTX 480. Um, the loop for the um, graphics card consists of uh, two fans on the uh, radiator at the bottom and one of the stock radiators here at the, on this uh, deck and one more that's on the side of the um, uh, RAID, internal RAID. I have uh, made use or bought uh, um, Crucial SSD SATA 3 drives. I got two of them in here. Uh, one of them's 256, the other one's 64. I'm going to put my operating, one of, uh, operating system on the 64. I haven't got the operating system yet. It's actually uh, should be here tomorrow, or hopefully tomorrow, sometime this week. I'm going to install Windows 7 64 bit Blu ray player. But um, one loop consists of those uh, four fans, and so the other loop has four fans also on each channel. And that's the uh, idle tube. Like I said, it's, it's about 84 in here. It's, it's kind of a humid evening. Uh, all my fittings are bits power, compression fittings, everything, except for these quick disconnects, which are coolants. It's, uh, high flow, large. All the way back to the reservoir, you got uh, bits powers on the back of them too. Uh, I've had a lot of trouble with this this video card. It's uh, not really the video card's fault; it's really the the owner's fault. I uh, ha on both the CPU and the graphics card. I've actually and the uh, Northbridge Southbridge. Uh, I've actually I put those on and removed them and then cleaned them up real good, 
and reapply to different thermal compound after been reading uh, about the different compounds. And how to apply it, because I haven't done this before. So I had to kind of read and learn and redo stuff, and then it's uh, it's it's been a lot of work for me, at least. I've been working on this for about six months. The uh, the uh, thermal paste that I use, the compound, is this right here, this uh, Arctic Silver 5. It seems to be pretty nice. It goes on pretty good. I actually kind of took a... I actually warmed it up in a, uh, a heating blanket. I turned the heating blanket up and wrapped it up in there, left it in there for a couple hours, and when I uh, applied it, it went on a lot easier. And, and it seemed to, I hope, bond a lot easier um, on the uh, surfaces. But uh, on the back of this graphics card, I actually removed that water block the first time and broke off a, a capacitor. But lucky for me, where I work at, they do this kind of stuff all the time. They actually replace these surface mount components all the time. So I uh, had one of the propeller heads at work take a look at this, and he told me what and where I needed to buy that capacitor, and I bought it. It was a $2 part cost me about eight dollars to ship it to me and I took it back up there and he put it on no charge and uh, I'm hoping that'll works okay I got video so I guess everything's okay I got no leaks didn't have one leak I took my time to try to make sure everything was tightened up pretty well but uh, I did as best I could maybe you guys can give me some ideas what you what you think or what you would do different uh, I do like these uh, the idea of these uh, quick disconnects in, in the loop so I can actually quickly disconnect these and uh, wrap it with a towel and not get very much water out of it at all. And I can remove the uh, the reservoir and I can drain it if need be or replace pumps pretty quickly without a whole lot of hassle. I'll just fill up the reservoir and reconnect it. And I'm sure I'll probably have to bleed it again, but this is it. Let me know what y'all think.